Hi, I'm Dr. Cindy Dunbar. I'm an investigator at the National Institutes of Health. Dr. Cynthia Dunbar was Blood's editor-in-chief from 2008 to 2012. We think Blood is the journal for hematology. Why? Well, because it is a nonprofit, society run professional journal that is dedicated to, I think, the most important aspect of bringing together basic science, translational science, and clinical hematology all together in one venue. And that's really unique. Every paper that comes into the journal is looked at by the editor-in-chief, which I think is really important to stress for a journal like Blood that's run by a professional society where all the editors are actually working hematologists, working scientists. That is a real important aspect of a journal um, such as Blood that is an advantage and a, a reason that authors should consider sending their work to the journal because it will be taken seriously by professional editors who are just like them working in hematology and understanding what's feasible and what's important. The big aspect of the job is to try to recruit um, the best new papers to the journal, especially the front matter, the review articles, the how I treat articles, the perspectives. The associate editors are really the content specialists for the journal and they're the gatekeepers and the quality control officers in a way. They are seeing all the papers that come into the journal in their area, general area of scientific or clinical expertise. They're reviewing the papers themselves, they're sending it out to external reviewers to get even more expert input on whether the work is novel, whether it's high quality, and whether most importantly it's practice changing or knowledge changing putting your work together in a way that is going to make people believe it and be excited about it is really important. And I think that learning how to write well is something that is really important for anybody who's going to be a scientist. So this is my fifth year um, of giving this talk at ASH to the uh, Trainee Council. Coming to ASH and being able to hear from an editor like myself and from leaders in hematology internationally about how to publicize and package their scientific work in such a way that people will understand it, believe it, and want to read it is a very important skill. I try to give an entertaining talk, um, kind of pointing out the do's and don'ts of preparing an article for publication and for submission to a major journal, talking about things to do during the data collection phase, things to do when you're actually writing the paper, things to do when you're communicating with editors or with reviewers, and what to do to maximize the chances that your work is going to be presented in the best possible light. We have a responsibility to bring content forward that is the highest quality and also responsibility to make sure that we reach the broadest audience in terms of their level of understanding. We really do have to try to bring together the scientists, the clinicians, and the people in the middle who are doing both. Many of us went into hematology, I think, because of this incredibly tight connection between the science and the clinical activities that we all take part in. This close connection between the science and the clinical uh, medicine is an incredible advantage for the journal Blood and for our field in general. Blood is a high impact journal. Um, we want the science and clinical work published there to be of the utmost quality and to be important.